G'day guys, I just finished this book over the weekend and I figured why not do a quick book review on this. These books aren't cheap, so hopefully in a couple of minutes I can convince you to either buy it or not to buy it. So stick around and we'll get into it. So what were my expectations and why did I buy this book? As a software engineer, most of us these days are using prompts all the time for generating code and troubleshooting and so on. So I wanted to see if I could get anything new and up my game with the prompting. And secondly, there's a chapter on agents, and that's something I've been playing with quite a bit recently. So I wanted to sort of get back to the basics and see if there was any obvious things I'm, I'm doing wrong. So those are the two main things I wanted. So what were the takeaways for me? Obviously, you can see by the number of bookmarks, there was quite a few things in there that stood out to me. Unfortunately, I don't think I can show any of this on camera because the copyright ban hammer might come after me. But anyway, the first thing that stood out to me were the five principles of prompt engineering. So number one being direction, give a direction, talk to me like a teacher, talk to me like I'm an idiot, which works pretty well for me. You know, talk to me like you're an English teacher, that kind of thing. Number two, the format. So tell it how you want the output of the response to be. So, you know, uh, give me five paragraphs, um, give it to me in this particular program language, give it to me in JSON, CSV, that kind of thing. Number three, examples. So don't rely on it to just have a best guess of, of what you want. Try and give it some reasonable examples of what you think good looks like. That will definitely get you better results. Number four is the evaluate quality. Doesn't really appeal to us much as consumers of things like chat GPT because we don't have access to some of this stuff, but it does talk about how the model providers will evaluate what good looks like and they've got different benchmarks for, for doing so. And number five is dividing labor. Imagine going to a real human and say, I want to build a website and then it needs to have an app and it needs to have a back end and it needs to email and it needs to do all these different things. You try and give that to them in, 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 one, in one prompt and it's just too much. So the idea is that you can break your prompts down. So, you know, build this and then build on top of that and keep adding features as, as you go. So those were the, the five principles. Some other things that stood out for me, there's a brilliant chapter on examples of prompting. So things like explain like I'm five, um, meta prompting, which is where you can use prompts to generate other prompts, which is fantastic if you're working with agents, by the way, get ChatGPT to help you with your prompts for the agent. Um, and there's some other things in there like, like role prompting and, and, and why you should do that. Um, there's a whole chapter on vector and embeddings and that is really fascinating. Um, I've been playing around with multimodal embeddings and like that is really going to change the game. It basically allows you to um, compare across different types of media. So you could take um, a text search string, distill that down to the embeddings and then do the same for the image and then see the overlaps. So that's how you can search for things in images, videos, audios, that, that, that kind of thing. Really, really powerful. Definitely go and have a look at that. Um, there was a chapter on agents. I didn't get too much from that and I think it wasn't down to the book I think it was down to me um, I'm using agents in uh, AWS Bedrock and N8N platform now those are sort of high level wizard you know forms um, for building agents so you don't really get down into the nitty-gritty stuff um, it covers a lot of lang chain code examples which I'm not going to use so I didn't get a, a great deal out of that chapter, but there's a few things in there that sort of apply to any any agent platform, like uh, memory, for example, you know, trying to use short-term and long-term memory for your agent. So that was okay. And there was several chapters on image generation. That's not really something I'm playing with, but if you're into that, it's quite interesting to see how you can get different, um, different styles of images and how you maintain consistency. Uh, if you ever play with that, you ask it to make you one image and then you and then you ask it to tweak something and then the characters look different. So, you know, how to gain consistency. So those were the, the main things that stood out for me. So to wrap this up, I would say that if you're a AI specialist, then perhaps you won't get too much from this book. Uh, but if you're like me and you're a regular software engineer that's using this stuff on a daily basis and you want to up your game, get better at your prompting, get better output, get better code examples and so on, definitely read this book. Um, if you're a um, analyst or a tester or a manager or any of the other roles that, that tend to use prompt engineering too, then you will also get things out of this book. You don't have to be a technical person. Um, I would say that the first three chapters alone are worth buying the book for. There's just so much great information on there about how to do your prompting better and you don't have to understand any, any, any of the code. 
Um, a few things about the book itself. Um, I have a whole bunch of that way, a whole bunch of O'Reilly books on, on my shelf. Um, I've had dozens over the years. Every now and again, you'll get one that's sort of printed a little bit bad. This one arrived you know, with the front cover and the, the back cover all, all curled up. Um, if that does happen and you buy it from Amazon, then contact their support. You can either return it for free, or in my case, the, the contents were fine, so I kept it. Um, they'll just give you a, a, a 10% um, discount on your next order. So it's worth bearing that in mind. I know a few people on Amazon have complained that the print quality on this book isn't that great, but well, all the contents inside are fine. Um, so yeah, I would say probably four out of five, 85 Australian dollars. So it's pretty expensive, but yeah, I think everyone can get something from this.